Hi there YouTube, Quetch here. Today we're gonna to talk about a band announcement that just went out for Horizon. There's a lot to talk about, so let's just get into it. Okay, so here is the post made in the Horizon XI Discord. It says, because the adventurers in question have clearly violated section three of our server rules, exploitation of bugs and game mechanics, the Horizon XI team deemed it necessary to take action against the offending parties. All punishments rendered are proportionate to the severity of the violations committed. The following actions have been taken. Some accounts have been permanently banned. Some accounts have been temporarily suspended. Some characters have been jailed to speak further with GMs. Some characters have had their crafting and or fishing skills reset to zero. Some characters have had their Lu Shang's fishing rods deleted and a large amount of gill has been removed from the economy. Now I'd like to address each of these actions taken separately, but I'm rather sure that they're all actually kind of tied together and we're gonna go over that today. There are two main subjects to talk about with this, one of which we have some information on and one of which we have a little bit more. I'm gonna start with crafting. One sort of aspect of crafting is called desynthesis. It's where you could take an item, apply a crystal to it, and turn it into a handful of base items to recruit some of your crafting costs. In ERA, players would often do this for two reasons. If the item you were crafting didn't sell well, or NPC for that much gill, you could get some mats back and try again. Or you could take something like a Beastman made item and descent that into valuable useful materials, but you were subject to HQ rates on those descents in order to make your gill back. What's nice about Desynth is on some items, the craft level is pretty high as well, resulting in a chance for a skill up. Well, three days prior to this band wave, we see a maintenance patch outlining a fix to Desynthing in Horizon. The implication here is that players were skilling up too easily on Desynths and possibly HQing too often. I'm personally unsure of exactly what was going on, but one can assume that with the proper item and skill level, a player could descent and retry repeatedly at different level ranges, making crafting leveling up too easy, thus resulting in, for that player, a skill reset. Personally, this alone doesn't sound banworthy, but if somewhere in that loop players could NPC descent results for a higher than the gill cost to do so, it would make a lot of sense to then remove that gill. That was some of the information I picked up on with crafting, but I really do think it's tied together with the next point, and that is fishing. Players were very interested, to say the least, when the first Lu Shang's rod popped up four days into the server's release. Historically, a Lu Shang's rod was a rite of passage for fishermen who put in the work to acquire 10,000 of a fish known as moat carp. Usually a split of fishing your own carp and buying some of them off the auction house is how players obtain these. Seemingly, this would be an impossible task four days in, and it raised some eyebrows in the public discord. At this time, players started wondering if something was going on. The honest consensus that people came to is that with a giant player base all trying to make gill at the same time, many of them took to fishing at low levels where you could NPC or sell an auction house those fish, and the rumor is that moat carp were had for as low as 200 gill a stack. Turning those moat carp into the quest NPC also returns to you 120 gill. So you can see with a large enough supply, that's really 80 gill per stack or roughly 67k in total for a Lu Shang's rod. It is possible this happened, but I would say unlikely. However, what we're going to talk about next is not that strategy. Now, the devs have gone on to say that they will not be releasing official numbers or names related to any of the offenders. This is as some of them may be integrated into Vanadil's community after temporary suspensions, and we would rather not ruin their reputations. And there's also no confirmation as to whether or not this particular Lu Shangs was erased or the player was banned, but I will show you what it looks like when you search my character, and here's what you get when you search up the name of the server's first Lu Shang rod. I'll let you draw your own conclusions. So now on to what was actually going on and how the devs addressed it. We have this post here on December 26th at nearly 2 p.m. It says in regards to fishing, they fixed an issue where multiple fishing rods where the attack was set too high, some fish respawn rates. So as you can see at this point on the 26th, 
the devs were aware that something was going on and they were working with phishing. Likely at this point, they were tracking down the real issues because on the next day, December 27th, Eric, the server owner, went to the Discord to help clear the air. Uh, we will be pulling in certain fishers to talk with them. Uh, don't worry, it's mostly the devs' fault. Uh, they just want to talk to everyone and make sure that they're doing what's right for the server and the players. And then not even an hour later, we had an emergency patch. Uh, in this patch, the important part is fishing is now restricted to characters who have acquired level 15 or higher. And the clothes pole has been temporarily given minimum rod stats until the new fishing stats have been implemented. But let's take a look at the clothes pole. So I did some asking around and it seems as though up until then, it's possible that players were able to catch fish well above their skill level using the clothes pole. And if you look at the very next comment on Eric's post, it says, is this bug why people are ripping blue tails out of Saruta every 50 seconds at like level 30 fishing? So if it's true that players were able to catch higher level fish, those fish would be NPCing for a much higher amount of gill than is usual for that level, and higher level fish means higher chance of skill up. So it seems like on the 27th, they had figured out the culprit was this closed pole, and quickly patched it. Now, I do want to take this moment to emphasize the main point Eric was making in this post is there was a mistake in the code. The dev team wants to figure out how to move forward best from there. Uh, of course, we know that as of the 30th, three days later, more than one Lu Shang's rod was deleted and Gil has been removed from the economy that has somehow been earned improperly. All in all, it is likely that an influx of Gil from fishing led to the purchase of raw materials, which were then funneled into crafters who were exploiting these extra skill ups from death synths. And the end result was this current wave of bands. Hopefully that summarized everything well enough for you. It's kind of a lot for me to wrap my head around. I was kind of naively just leveling up my jobs and having a good time and hanging out with people. But behind the scenes, there was a lot of gill being generated and there definitely was something fishy going on with fishing. But yeah, hopefully this didn't affect any of you too heavily. But uh, yeah, let's remember to support the devs through the growing pains they're having with this new server and to be respectful in the way we uh, interact and comment as they work on this project that a good number of us are having a great time with. So I would like to leave today's video off on a good note. How long did it take you to level up a craft to 100 or a fishing to 100? Or how long did it take you to obtain your Lu Shang's rod? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.